Hello, this is Bill Webb, aka Billy Indiana. Today I'm going to do an unboxing for another recent Kickstarter arrival. This one is Globe Trotting by Road to Infamy Games, and it's the limited Kickstarter edition. And I also have a couple of those acrylic globe holders. So if you're curious to see what else comes inside this box, stay tuned. Uh -oh. All right, so here is Globe Trotting. As I said, this is by Road to Infamy Games. And these I'll just really quickly open up and show. Um, I, I checked it out to see. I couldn't remember if I ordered two or four uh, of these. I haven't opened the rest of the package though. So, um, and I just ordered two. I think it's been a while, but I think my logic was most of the time Janelle and I just play games, the two of us, and didn't want to spend the extra money uh, for four. I may end up regretting that, we'll see. <laughs> uh, but yeah, these are nice little acrylic pieces that just kind of fit together that way. And then this looks to fit right on top. And I think in the box, there's going to be cardboard pieces that do the same. So um, the one thing that I've, as I've heard other people that have been receiving their copies already, that they've been a little concerned about is uh, just, they you have to disassemble everything to fit into the box. And so whether it's worth you know trying to come up with another storage solution or just um you know go ahead and do just something or just keep them out of the box so i'm not sure anyway that's what they look like this one's all assembled now um and just so you can see how that works we'll slide that out of the way and let's dig into the main event here so you can see this is pretty cool it's got a handle and everything it's it's made to obviously look like a traveling trunk and then here is the back side. If you look there, this is designed by Jeffrey Chen and Andrew Nerger. One to four players, 14 and up, 30 minutes. Travel the world and explore 36 unforgettable destinations. Draw travel routes on your personal three-dimensional globe. The unique stand allows the globes to rotate in any direction and also function as measuring tools for determining the distance and airfare cost of your flights. Fulfill your bucket list goals. And then it's got a list of the components there. Uh, on this end, you know, it just has a couple of awards that they had already been nominated for or won. And then, like I showed you the handle before, and then on the other end, in case you want to store this vertically on your shelf, that's what that looks like. All right, so this is going to be an interesting, uh, I'm not going to need the knife, it looks like there was just a small little tear in the plastic, which is nice for this. Um, and then this is an interesting opening. If I remember right, it's metallic, yeah, it's or magnetic, I mean, it's got a magnetic clasp. Uh, but this is a legit handle, so <laughs> when it's closed, you know, you can carry it around like a suitcase. So that's pretty cool. All right, so we'll open up the magnetic clasp and see what's inside. Let's see, can we fit it this way? Yes, it looks like we'll get most everything in view there. So we've got the travel guide, which is apparently the rule book. It shows you some information there about assembling the stand and assembling the globe. And then we've got the setup of the game. And then we've got how to play with some examples. And then we've got destination cards, bucket list cards, festivals and travel companions, objective goals, gaming and scoring, and then some description of solo mode. And then nice art on the back. So that is the rule book. These are the globes that are gonna go inside or the maps that are gonna go inside the globes. And uh, let's see, yeah, this is, We've got these and these. So I think it like top half of the globe, bottom half of the globe thing. So yeah, we'll figure that out as we start assembling those. But that's cool. We'll put that there. We've got some punch boards here. Looks like five matching destination types. Each trip visits the continents twice. So it looks like these are gold we're trying to achieve for six or four points. And they punch nice and easy. So we'll just toss that aside. Set these over here. And we've got um, another box full. So here are the cardboard assembly or uh, globes. And looks like there's something here in the middle. So those festivals. And then, yeah, the pieces for the cardboard globe holder. I think I said globe, but globe holder. So there's the pieces, not sure what this would be for, maybe just extra. 
All right, and so I don't know exactly how these go together, but I'm assuming it's going to be pretty much the same process, looks like. And yeah, just got a couple little punches here. There may be some clips to hold things a little more firmly, I'm not sure. So we've got, oh, missed two. And there may be some alignment things we've got to do, so I don't spend too much time messing with this, but yeah, looks like that's the basic idea. And there's the cardboard version. All right, we'll set that to the side. We won't punch the rest of these. It looks like it's going to be the same. Okay, so that white little circle looks like there's some kind of a little disc here. There's another festival and another holder, another festival, another holder. And then it looks like some more destination to or, uh, cardboard tiles. Then we've got a little separator here, it looks like. Just cardboard. And then we get into the globes. All right, so, oh, they're in Ziploc. Okay. And these globes will need some assembly, but I think they'll just pretty much snap together once they're pieced together. So there's a little handle here and some clips, it looks like, there. Um, so, yeah, I don't know if they'll, if it matters, if it's like right, left, and the way it's held here in the box. So, I keep these over here on this side. There's some, I think these are actually wet erase markers, so you'd have to use like a wipe or something to clean off your maps when you're done. And we've got some cards. See if I can uh, get these open quickly. Looks like there might be yep, a little tear strip. Nice. And oof, that is tight though. <laughs> there we go. All right. And they kind of feel stuck together. I'm not sure how easy it's going to be to show these. Looks like they're going to need some manipulation to get them unstuck from each other. Kind of Sticking in big bundles here. I think they have to be made of material as well that you can write on them. So, visit iconic places in Oceania, lodge in a tropical bungalow, explore jungles, attend pro sporting events, learn about ancient civilizations, tour wineries, on and on. And so these are going to be different goals. And like I said, <laughs> those are going to have to be uh, shuffled and messed with a little bit to get them to not stick. And then we've got some limited edition travel awards here. All right, so just limited different travel awards. Okay, and here's the description, the definite or explanation. <laughs> they look like the little credit cards. That's cool. Travel rewards, and then looks like different again objectives to try to achieve. So very clever there in the design. And then we've got our. Passports, so we've got Deutschland, we've got our German character, I think it's just like a scorekeeping thing, and then Botswana, and then this caught my attention, Indonesia, we lived in Indonesia for over a decade, so, and then US. All right, so those passports I think are per player. And I think scorekeeping, this one doesn't look like it has any kind of strip to open with. That's a bummer. Let me see. I always hate using a knife on cards, but let me see if I can get under the top edge here. Especially these cards are kind of the, yes, there is this all. So it's like the, uh, well, maybe the globe is more that, I guess. But these have just really cool art. And I, if I remember correctly, a lot of them, yeah, so they've chosen places like Alhambra as a place, obviously, but it's also a board game. <laughs> Bali, place we visited often when we were in Indonesia. Bora Bora, another game. Cape Town, Carcassonne, another game. Cartagena, Cat Island. I'm assuming that maybe, I don't know if that's a real place or not. It says in Japan, so it must be Chicago, Denali, Easter Island. Whoops. Fiji, Galapagos, Giza, Great Barrier Reef. Gugong, one of my favorite games, <laughs> Himalayas, Isle of Sky, Istanbul, a couple more games, Jaipur, another game, Marrakesh, another game, although I think there's a couple games with different spellings and they may all be different places actually in the world, Mata Mata, Maui, Nusfjord, another game, Rio de Janeiro, Samoa, San Juan, another game, Santiago, Santorini, another game, Serengeti, another game, Seychelles, Teotihuacan, another of my favorites, Tobago, Tokyo, Torres del Pen and Vancouver. So a lot of them, I think, 
specifically cho choosing those places because they also are names of games. All right, and then I think these are just the other halves, so maybe we won't spend time going over those. And then there's just a little desiccant. And then here's some tabs. I think this must be to help hold the globes together. And some standees. I'm not sure what these are for. Hmm. Yeah, I'll figure that out. So that is what comes in the game Globe Trotting. Really excited to play. Uh, in about a week, we're getting ready to travel up to Seattle and visit my daughter and her family. So might take this one along. I think it'll be a fun one to play. They've also, well, she grew up in Indonesia. They've lived in Indonesia as a family. They've done a lot of travel. So I think this would be a fun one for us to try together. All right, so if you have any questions, let me know. I'll try to figure out how this all puts together and boxes back up. Maybe make another video on that down the road showing how it all comes together if I have time. Um, if you have questions about the game or if you've played it and you want to make some comments, leave those down below in the comment section. And I'd love it if you would give this video a thumbs up. It'd be terrific if you'd choose to subscribe to the channel as well. As always, thanks for watching. This is Billy Indiana, signing off. Uh -oh.